When the sad, utterly devastating news of the death in very cruel circumstances of Toba Falode, the son of Aisha Falode, Nigeria's most influential female sports reporter and analyst, a member of the Confederation of African Football CAF, broke sometime last year, it was like the whole world was going to crumble under her feet. In sweet response, however, Aisha Falode's friends, associates, colleagues, and indeed some civil rights activists rallied on her to give her the much needed support and succor, and this helped to gradually calm her pained and strained nerves. How Aisha followed is summoned the uncommon strength of character to regain her vibrant rhythm and get back to her beat again still confounds many people to today. Time to say heals wounds. Tolu Alasha Falode, the elder sister of Toba Falode's most brilliant idea of keeping the memory of her beloved brother in perpetuity, was a book she wrote in his memory, which also coincided with Toba Falode's 21st birthday anniversary. The book launch, which was held at the Wheat Baker Hotel in Ikoi, Lagos, attracted a very impressive array of friends of Aisha Falode and her children from the sports fraternity, media, corporate world, social, business, and the political front. It's most heartwarming to note that the dignitaries bent over doubly backwards to defy the horrible traffic in the Kui axis of Lagos, aggravated by the fuel scarcity that has kept commuters in the Lagos area, mostly at the filling stations, thereby disrupting the flow of traffic especially in the morning hours, the period the book lunch was slated for. From the sporting fraternity, the main constituency of Aisha Falode, that brought her to the consciousness of Nigerians and the international community, were the likes of Michelle Obi, Paul Bassi, Larry Zamoje, and the NFL president, Amadjo Pinnick, who was represented by the first vice president of the NFF, Paris Sheya Kiumi. From the media were the managing director of these day newspapers, Mr. Eniola Bello, Ovation magazine publisher, Dele Momodu, managing director of AIT, Tosin Dokwesi, who represented her husband, Chief Raymond Dokwesi, who's like a big brother to Aisha Falode. Also in attendance was publisher of Genevieve magazine, Betty Rabo. The civil rights activists that graced the book launch included Dr. Joe Dumaking and barrister Festus Kayamu, who was a counsel to the bereaved family. Pastor Itoai Godalo of the Trinity House Church and Uduak Umundak, from our First Lady of Akwebom State, first gone into gospel TV preaching, also attended the event. Students of the Atlantic Hall School, the alma mater of the author of the book, and Aisha Falade's daughter, were also at the book launch to support one of their own. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Diaspora, who played a strategic role in seeking justice against those who perpetrated the tragic and gruesome murder of Toba Falode in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, had to push for her trip to Abuja, the federal capital, to give her very close friend, Aisha Falode, the needed support. Oluwa Damilola Oloron Toba Falode, Aisha Falode's son, was only 19 years old and had just gained admission to study audio production at the SAE Institute in Dubai, UAE, before the joy, hopes, and dreams of that young man, who was described as a loving son who was extremely protective of her mother, was cut short. Toba Falode had planned to be a big music star. It was one year filled with pains and anguish for Toba Falode's family members, especially her mother, Aisha Falode, and sister, Tolua Lasha Falode. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa commended the great literary exposition of the young author, Tolua Lasha Falode, and the unique way she decided to remember her darling brother. Speaking about the cause of the death of Toba Falode, which the United Arab Emirates authorities still shroud in mystery till today. Honorable Abike Dabirere were noted that most Nigerians studying abroad are going through harrowing experiences in the hands of a number of these foreign countries, but regretted the fact that successive governments in Nigeria 
have neglected their responsibilities to come to the assistance of such victims. Honorable Abike Dabirirewa assured Aisha Falode and Nigerian families who have experienced such acts not to lose hope because the incoming administration will pursue such cases to a logical conclusion. She thanked God that the Falodes have bounced back to life after that ugly incident. Now when Toba died, Aisha was in parliament with Festus and uh, Mr. Dumaki and everybody. We intervened in the case. Speaker actually set up a four-man team to look into the matter. But uh, we didn't get support of the embassy. And as parliamentarians, you can't budge into the country without the support. And I think it's a big shame, really, that as a nation, we allow this to happen. You see, it's not about he died or he didn't die. It's about demanding justice. You know, there's those who killed Toba. Simple as that. For our embassy in, in Dubai not to even be interested in started an investigation, I think we should be ashamed. And this is not the first time. We've had many cases. I can't tell you how many cases of Nigerians have been killed abroad, imprisoned for nothing. But because Aisha is a strong woman, she's well known, this was in the front. But there are many cases of Nigerians dying anyhow abroad. And we say nothing as a nation. But the good thing is, change is here. And um, <laughs> Aisha, I'm telling you, I'm saying it openly today. We're not going to, we will find, we have to demand justice for Toba. Every one of us, every mother, every father, every parent, it doesn't matter whether you're in government or not, let us continue to demand that justice must be done. Let's demand justice and fairness for the killers of your son. And I know that the incoming administration will take it more seriously. Um, Tolu, I congratulate you. We're all proud of you. You've done a great job. I congratulate your courage. I just commend you and admire you. And I see you as a future leader in Nigeria. The book, The Gift of Grace, was reviewed by the publisher of Ovation International magazine, Dele Mamodu, who likened the author to renowned authors like Chimanda Adiche, Barbara Cartland, and Agatha Christie. In the manner she arranged her thoughts, the command of the language, and the general outlook of the literary piece. The three chapter book has titles like Memories. The second chapter consists of the Fallody family affairs and the third chapter simply titled Working Through Fire. The book, The Gift of Grace, embodies the life and times of the late Bafalode, who had a consuming passion for creative arts. The key things to take away from the book, The Gift of Grace, among other things, are the unpredictability of life and the pains of a family torn apart by the grip of death of a beloved one. After reading through the first paced biography, I concluded that this is a burden Jimanda Adichie, Barbara Cartland, and Agatha Christie. Chapter 1 is aptly titled Memories. The author takes us on a tour de force of an eventful childhood. The reader is sucked in somehow into an esoteric existence in an African setting. The opening lines wasted no time in blasting home the concept of duality as cogently portrayed by a life of bliss. And the second chapter reminds us that family is everything. The death of their uncle, who they called Brother Shuaib, was the first calamity to befall the family. Toba was so devastated that he became introverted without knowing the cruel fate that awaited him in the near future. Pastor Itoe Godalo, who had earlier played host to Aisha Falode and her family members, as well as friends, at a special Thanksgiving service for Toba Falode, enjoyed the singular privilege of formally presenting or launching the book, The Gift of Grace. He first dwelled into some soul-lifting gospel songs, which the audience joined him in singing, to kind of give a spiritual tone to the event. Brother God. Of heaven and earth, have your spirit. 
kaka 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 ka bio ka bio si baba you are the god of heaven ka bio ka bio He described the author, Tolu Alasha Falode, as the best kept secret and the newest author in the universe. Pastor Itoe Godale was particularly impressed by the passion and knowledge of the scriptures which the author employed in conveying her message. He used the auspicious occasion to ask everyone to mend relationships and sort out quarrels. Pastor Itoe Godale pronounced the events and occasion to heal wounds through soothing words. He opened the floodgates of the launching of the book, The Gift of Grace, with a handsome amount. This was followed by all the dignitaries who took turns to donate. This included Delta State Governor Dr. Mani Ludoin, who was represented by the Lagos State Director General Delta State Liaison Office. In the vote of thanks, the author of the book, The Gift of Grace, Tolu Alasha Falode, who is the elder sister of Toba Falode, a graduate of law from the Trinity College Dublin Island, a blogger and motivational speaker, began by thanking all who helped in making her dream a huge success. She stated that she was motivated to write the book to give Nigerians and the society at large a nudge to rise up against social ills setting us back in the world. She wrote the book to offer a fresh platform for the voice of our late brother Toba for justice to be heard. Tolu Alasha Falode said that the ill treatment of Nigerians, either studying or residing abroad, can only be tackled if we all rise to take up the challenge by the gauntlet, and that the federal government has an important role to play in redressing the ugly trend of the bad treatment meted out to Nigerians abroad. I thank God that I am here today and I'm able to talk clearly and communicate with people very well because when this happened as i'm sure you got from the book readings i wrote from a point of pain i was very pained but i just want to let people know that i'm grateful to god that a year after he has given my family a testimony by giving us the grace to bear this loss i also want to thank my alma mater atlantic call for being present and I want to thank Pastor Ito Godalo for his support. Pastor Larry Akinyo, thank you so much. And my family and my family friends and my friends in general. Thank you all so much for honoring me with your presence. I hope you enjoy the book. And I hope Toba's voice will enable us to speak as individuals and as Nigerians that we do have a place in society. We should not keep quiet when something so terrible happens to one of our own. A happy birthday song, albeit posthumously, was sung for Toba Falode by all the dignitaries at the event. One, two, three. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Continue to rest in the bosom of Christ our Lord. The event ended with Aisha followed her daughter, the author, taking video and photo shots with a string of friends and well wishes. Meanwhile, we hear that Aisha Fallod is working in collaboration with like-minded people to start a foundation to give support to help cushion the pains of families who have been victims of cruel treatment in the hands of people in foreign countries.